welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking and welcome to a new episode of Roman Cookery. Today I will make for you stuffed focaccine. Several types of focaccia have an imperative role in both Roman and Greek diet. They even stuffed focaccias with grinded meat such as mince or hamburger meat. According to Latin writer Macrobius, these focaccias were somewhat hard to digest. He writes in his own words, please explain it. Why are these focaccias so hard to digest? We're not talking about sausages or salamis. We're actually talking about chopped meat, such as mince. Sometimes they would use fish with herbs and seasonings. Oftentimes they would wrap the meat into leaves and they would let it stay in the sun to dry. So they were basically making meat rolls or meatballs kind of, you know. So it, it is kind of similar with the meatball, spaghetti meatball as you're making fun of us, we call it polpette in Italian, okay? <laughs> Even to this day in Greek culinary tradition, they make a focaccia stuffed with meat inside. So we can say that this is an evolution of the ancient recipe. So come with me, come to my kitchen and I'll show you how it's made. For this recipe we need 500 grams of mince or hamburger meat, short crust pastry, one or two rolls, half cup of white wine, 100 milliliters, 60 gram of parmigiano cheese or pecorino cheese, one spoon of olive oil, one spoon of butter, one spoon of bread crumbs, one onion, chopped parsley, and salt and pepper. Okay guys, here we are. Okay, first of all we need to slice our onion. So we need to cut it. These knives are so good guys best knives in the world. I hope, I don't wanna cry, but you never know, this may happen. I'm so hungry today, you know. So I'm so excited to cook this recipe. I can see already the recipe on my mind. This is the very first time I make it, but I'm sure this is gonna be delicious. So stay with me. Wow, this knife really works well. It's from Royal, your royalty line. This is from royalty line, from Switzerland, I believe. And it cuts really well. You can tell, like this is like fantastic, fantastic stuff. Okay, here we are. Very. So when I say one spoon of butter, I mean this. So you just do like this, more or less, you know, this is one spoon of butter, maybe a little bit more. There we are. So, we'll turn the fire on. Okay, we'll let the butter sit here for a little bit. Very good. We'll let it dance around the pan. Okay. 
let's let it melt, you know, just give it a chance to melt. Woo! This is fun. So guys, I hope you're doing fine. Thank you for your Christmas wishes. It was very nice to hear from you. I hope you liked the last videos, you know. I'm very very hungry. I can't wait to eat this food. Really, I just can't wait any longer because I'm really, you know, I can't wait. Okay, let's add our onions. Let's add our mints. This is so good guys, I can't tell you like the, the smell of it is so fantastic, you know, fantastic smell. Remember for those who don't drink alcohol that the alcohol will eventually evaporate. So I love like how strong onions are here. I don't know in the States, but here are onions so quite strong. And they're very healthy, very good for you, so make sure you eat plenty of onions guys. And it gives a, a nice aroma to the food, really. It makes a big difference. It gives like a great taste. I put 120 milliliters of wine. I am using, for this recipe, I'm using white wine, okay? So let's add a little bit of salt. A little bit of sea salt just to give it a good taste. <coughs> Don't forget to add pepper, black pepper. Okay, great. When the wine will be dried, don't don't burn it, okay? You can add some water just to keep it cooking, you know. It looks so good to me already. And we aren't done yet. We aren't done. Oh, the smell of it. Oh, it makes me feel so happy, so good. So let's cook this. Let's cook this for approximately half an hour. See you in 30 minutes, okay? Okay, let's take care of our parsley. I won't be using the old thing, but I will use, I'll be using a lot of it.
No, it's essential for this recipe, I would say. So, so let's also add an egg. We'll add an, a scrambled egg to this recipe. These are fresh eggs I bought today. See if it's, yeah, this is good. So the egg is another, so we could kind of mix it this way. I usually use a, I use a fork because it's easier for me, you know. But you can use a whisk if you like. Pequisimo un filetto come a Bill Clinton. Now I'll put it here, this is a spoon of breadcrumbs. I, I added a little bit of water you now to let it cook well. And we are like very close to half an hour actually. So a few minutes and it will be ready. Okay, let's add our egg. Okay. Let's add also our parsley. Parsley is very nice, so let's add it. Let's add our cheese. Cheese is very essential for this recipe as well. These are like 60 grams of cheese. For this recipe I'm using the pecorino cheese. It's like a very old type of cheese. It's very famous in Sicily. And it's kind of the closest thing to what's Roman in a way. But um, you can use Parmigiano cheese. It's perfect for this recipe, you know. And we also need to add our breadcrumbs. So just turn off the, the heat, you know, and mix all this together. So, we need to get our short crust pastry, okay? Sure. So here we are. Okay, don't leave me, don't leave me alone. Okay. Wow, this one looks like a pizza to me. Fantastic. So, need to make some slices and Put a little bit of butter here, okay. Okay. Put this here. Okay. 
So then let's put our beautiful little stuffed focaccias. They're gonna be great, I know. They're gonna be fantastic. Just can't wait to eat it. Just can't wait to eat this good food. They're gonna be fantastic. Let's make another extra one. So you might want to get two brisee rolls if you like. This one is going to be a little bit different than the other one. Because I'm going to make a gigantic focaccia with this one. Let's see if I can do it. This one has to be my gigantic focaccia. Yay! Looks like I bake out some to me. Very good stuff. So now let us stick it in the oven for 20 minutes and enjoy it guys, it's gonna be fantastic. This is the first one. We are, let's wait 20 minutes. There we are, wow, these are so good, freaking good, I'm so happy about this. I know it's gonna be tasting fantastic. I'm gonna show you how it is. And let's check also the big one. Let's check the big one and see how it goes. Look at this. Isn't this just gorgeous? Look at this fantastic, huge focaccia. This is perfect, guys. This is gonna be fantastic. It's gonna feed a lot of people. And I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it already. So let's see how it tastes, yeah. Well, okay guys, the time has come to taste this amazing, beautiful, look at this, this is perfect. Mmm. Mm. Very good. Oh yeah, so good guys. Guys, I suggest you to serve this warm. They're so good, so tasty. I'm so happy that this recipe turned out to be perfect, just perfect. Great taste, great food, great quality, you know, I just can't complain. Thank you guys, thank you so much for your support and this is because of my patrons. Thanks to my patron supporters. For this meal I spent $13, right about $14 maybe. And thanks to my patron. Thank you so much for your support. I really need your support in order to continue this Roman cookery uh, series. So please support me on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you feel sad, you better call Sal. Bye bye. <laughs>